Just came in with a hatchet. I do have my concealed carry and pulled my weapon. Uh, he has slid his hatchet across the counter now and is standing here. Yesterday, we heard the moments a local clerk called 911 after he pulled out a gun on a would be robber armed with a hatchet and knew at noon. We're now hearing from that clerk about the dramatic moments that were caught on camera. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch joins us now live with that brand new interview. Until a month ago, that clerk worked here at this plaid pantry in Oak Grove, and that's when the man with the hatchet entered the store. Christopher Fallis was working the graveyard shift at Plaid Pantry that April Sunday morning. At about 1 a.m., he says a masked man came in the store. Christopher was the only clerk in the store at the time. Young man walked in with his face covered and walked up to the counter, pulled out a hatchet, and within a second of that happening, I drew my gun and just made sure he knew I had it, never pointed it at him. At the same time, the 21-year-old clerk called 911 and told dispatchers what was happening. Christopher says he was scared, but he remained level-headed and got the upper hand with the masked man. He assumed the suspect was there to rob the convenience store. At one point, the man with the hatchet got down on the floor and he also apologized to Christopher. He got down on his like knees and was like realizing like I really screwed up kind of thing. Still talking to 911, Christopher said the suspect left and he also left behind his hatchet. Clackamas County deputies have it as evidence and tell us that hatchet is 12 inches long. Christopher says it's against plaid pantry policy for clerks to carry weapons. And so even though he likely thwarted a robbery, Christopher was fired. He knew he was breaking the rules by having the gun at work, but he thought his safety was more important. I'd rather get fired over something like that than possibly be in the hospital dying. We've reached out to Plaid Pantry for comment about the firing, but they have not gotten back to us. Meantime, we should tell you that mass suspect is still on the run. In Oak Grove, Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.